Welcome back, everybody. Kedu, Ekabo, and Sanu. Hello. My name is Michaela Damasus Rituchi. But it's Auntie Makai to you. Don't forget, Auntie Makai to you. Do you remember the story I was telling you all about? It would be good. <gasps> you remember that. All the animals left, well, particularly the goats, the goats that used to eat up all the food while they were having any, they were not, they were, they're finished. They were tired. I mean, poor Ewo. He didn't want that. Then Mama came back. That's Grandma. Mama came back. Mama, Grandma began calling Ewu Ewu come 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 and clear why are you keeping this compound so dirty it wouldn't come Ewu did not come out nobody the smell by this time the villagers look at grandma that's mama looking for Ewu Ewu come back Ewu where are you you haven't done your job let she see Ewu. She didn't see Ewu. <sighs> she was so irritated. What type of nonsense is this? It was complete nonsense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She looked over there. She saw Yam on the floor. She looked over there. She saw Papa. She looked. There was no place she did not look at the dirt. She said something must be wrong. She asked, and all the villagers came. The villagers were shouting. They were, some were saying, Mama, what ha has happened to our goat? We heard that our goats have gone with your own goat called Ewu. What has happened? You better tell us now. Better tell us. We're not having this. Come and see our yard, our compound. Our compound is smelling because no goat to eat up the food. Oh, poor Mama. Mama didn't know what to do. Mama said, Please. Don't worry. Don't worry. Here comes Belu and Dingo. Look at them. Belu and Dingo then arrived. And then they saw the message. Hey. The message from Ewu the goat. Can you see it? He left his hoof mark. Now, Belu noticed the, 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 all the messages. But poor Belu. Belu doesn't know how to read. He doesn't know how to read goat language. So, he he looked at Dingo and said, Dingo, I don't know how to read wolf language. Do you know how to read, read wolf language? Um, goat language. So, the hoof language. It's called the hoof. So, look at Belu. Belu looked at it. He said, this thing is beyond me. Oh, he scratched his head here. Scratched his head here. He has never seen a language like this. So, it was Dingo's turn. Dengo did not scratch his head or look up. He knew. He, should, he said, woof, woof. Woof, woof. That means, yes, I know how to read it. So, Belo said, okay, read it then. All the hoof print. Can you see the hoof print all over, all marked? The hoof print went like this. Me, me. Me, 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 me. Me 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 translation asks below you've done it now give me the translation oh then go say no no it's okay is woof 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 he said translation properly 
Woof, 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 woof. In other words, I am leaving to go on a journey. I have done so bad things in the house, said Ew. I ate the towel and Zaria's bag. I don't know when I'll be back again. Yours faithfully, Ewu, the goat. Mm -hmm. That's it. Bello said, read it again. Woof, 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 woof. So that was the translation. So both of them went, said, we need to go and look for Bello. Bello, 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 Bello said, come, come, come on, Dengo, let's go and look for you. Dengo went up, as you see, he went up on the hill, on the hill, up the hill. Down again, across Mama's compound, they followed the hoof mark. All the hoof, not foot mark, all. hoof mark. Mm -hmm. All the goat's foot, you know, the goat. Mm -hmm. Under the tunnel, they went underneath the tunnel because there was one tunnel there with waterfalls over there. Then Zaria came back. Look at her. Mm -hmm. Zaria then came back. <laughs> What's that smell? Mama was really angry with her. Mama came close to her and said, what do you mean, what's that smell? Is the smell because he has gone, he has left. <sighs> Sorry, was so. Then Mama was angry. Mama said it with her very angry voice. Zaria, what have you said? Well, Mama didn't really say anything. All I wanted to tell him was... I called him Smelly. <gasps> you called Ewu the goat Smelly. Ah, Zaria. Zaria, let me tell you something. This world was not created for only human beings. Every living creature has something to offer. Without your creatures... The ant, from the ant, from the ant to the big gigantic animals, plus the lady like you. We all have our roles to play. Important role. Okay, now you've driven a woody goat away. Can you sweep the compound? No. See how important he is. Zaria, you need to be very, very careful. And Sarah was so very careful. Billy was angry with her and told her, you better start thinking of how to get him back. She couldn't think of anything else, but she knelt down, she started wishing. She looked up in the sky and said, please, please, come back, come back. I didn't mean what I said. Here comes the hoof sound. Here comes the hoof sound. Ewu was coming back to the compound because Dengo had found him. Belu said, Louder! Please come back. I miss you. And the hoof sound got louder. Louder! And she kept saying it until he would then reply, Meh! Everyone felt very happy to see Ewu back. He shouted, Meh! Meh! And the other goats responded too, Meh! Meh! And all the homes in the village 
began to smell fresh again because the goats ate up all the dirt and leaves and nothing was unturned. And Zarian began to understand the importance of everybody, any living thing on earth. So, children, the moral of this story is don't look down on anything, any living creature, anybody. Everybody is important. You are important. I'm important. Your friends are important. Your family are important. Nobody is useless in this life. Nobody. Take care.